excited about this new app that was developed by some real geniuses in Japan. It is brilliant. It's taken the total Harada method and put it onto the iPhone. So instead of worry where my computer is so I can write down my ideas or, or print it out on a sheet of paper so I can sketch it down and then put it into my computer, now uh, everything is on the app. And the app is wonderful as, as a tool. And the first thing the app does, it will explain it. What is the method? What's the importance of the method? And then the app has, um, as an example, I want to set my long-term goals. It could be short-term goals, but in this example, I want to set long-term goals. In order to set long-term goals, the first thing I want to do is to determine what is my purpose for this goal? What is my value in life? I want to be a champion. I want to be a master in some skill. When I go back eight years ago when I discovered the Harada Method, I wanted to be the best teacher in the world outside of Harada. That was my goal, and I studied profusely. And I filled out all of his forms. In fact, I went to Japan so that Mr. Harada could train me on his method. And now it's all on the app. So here I will write down 40. I want to do 40, 10 in each area. I want to write down 10, 10 purposes, 10 values of why I want to attain my goal. Well, I want to make more money. I want to take more vacations, etc. I put it on here. Also, I put here, is intangible. How do I feel if I attain my goal? I, how do I, I want to feel happy, of course. I want other people to feel happy. And a great key to the success of the Harada Method is serving others. As I said earlier, when you serve others, you bring out additional energy from yourself to be successful. Yes, you'll let yourself down. You, we, all, we do this all the time. We dream of something and then we don't do it, you know? I want to lose weight and then you don't lose weight. You want to give up smoking and you don't give up smoking. But if you obligate, if you focus on other people, you're going to do something that for their benefit, you will begin to change your habits. You'll be, into, you'll be able to be much stronger in life. Even if you smoke cigarettes, as an example. If somebody at home can't handle the cigarettes, you'll get rid of the habit. This is human nature to the best. So this app allows me to write down my values and purposes. It also, part of the method is for me to come up with 64 tasks. 64, either a task is something that has a start date and an end date, or routine, which is pretty much what I want to do every day. Everyone's locked in a habit, but you can break this habit by coming up with a new routine. So my routine is I want to exercise every day for at least 30 minutes. And I, I could mark that routine down here is one of the things I want to do. So this is a wonderful form. It's called the 64 chart. And I'm going to write down in the center, I want to be a great Harada teacher. And then around it, I'm going to put areas, specific areas of how to do this. Well, I have to learn, improve my presentation skills. I have to learn how to read and study more about the Harada method. I have to uh, uh, write articles. I want to write a book. I want to write training courses. I put all of that here. And then <clears throat> using the app, it'll take me to an, when I put here, I want to improve my presentation skills. It'll take me up, up to the next form, which is the long-term goal setting sheet. And I will be able to write on it and fill out all of the specific tasks that I have to do to attain that goal. This app also has, Come here, okay. Um, another part of the application is I'm going to analyze my past successes. How say what did I do well in four different areas? By the way, this is very clever of Mr. Arada. He found that when he taught students and he got them to mentally feel better about themselves, to motivate themselves, to study and think, he got no winners. Then he focused on skills. I want this student to study, the, he wants to throw the javelin. So he studies the great javelin throwers in the world and, and sets up a plan of how, what he's going to do to improve his skills. But Arana got no winners. Then he tried uh, health and well-being. They have to lose weight, they have to exercise, they have to have the right food, they have to get the right sunlight. Still got no winners. Then he focused on life and living. 
This is the fourth condition of the young lady that said, I'm going to wash dishes at home. Harada found that if you serve other people well, it gives you greater energy for you to be successful in life. So I'm going to write down in the four quadrants, the four areas, what did I do successful in the past? Why? Because if I did something right in the past, I want to repeat it. Then I'm going to look at what did I fail at? And I want to be honest with myself. What did I fail at? And I write everything down. Why? Because I don't want to repeat that failure. Look, making mistakes is good. You go through school and they tell you don't make mistakes. You make a mistake, your grade goes down. That's crazy because the, we learn from making mistakes. A smart company gives you a reward. There's a company in Japan called Mirai Industries and they give you $6 for every mistake you make, except you can't make it again. If you make the same mistake again, you're in trouble. But at least they recognize that you learn from your mistakes. So the same thing here. I'm going to look at my failures, but I'm not going to do it again. Then I'm going to look at what obstacles stand in my way from obtaining my goal. What obstacles? Well, I have to study hard, you know. I have to go back to school. Or whatever you think you have to do, what's going to stand in your way? And you write it down. And then you put in your countermeasures. So this is an obstacle, and this is what I'm going to do to overcome that obstacle. This is an amazing form. And then I'm going to look at that, go back to that 64 chart, and I'm going to take out 10 tasks to get started. I'll put a date in the 64 chart of when I want to get started, and then I'll take the first one and put it here. That's the first one I'm going to do to get started. I'm going to look also, what routines do I want to change? Like I mentioned exercise. If you want to give up smoking, that's a routine I want to get rid of. Maybe you won't do it right away, but every day if you check off, did I do it, did I do, not do it, and you work with a coach, I guarantee you'll give up smoking, and you won't, give, you won't gain any weight. I gave up smoking, I gained 25 pounds, and I'm lucky I just lost the 25 pounds. Then we want you to look at supporters. Who are the people that you need to help you? Well, hopefully the, the person you live with will help you, Maybe your good friend will help you. Maybe your boss will help you. And maybe another employee will help you be, to become your coach. It's not complicated. We want you to have a coach, but that coach could be a friend, could be a fellow worker. It could be your supervisor, maybe. It could be your wife or your husband. And then you put down, what kind of support do I need? Well, I need somebody to look at me every day. I want them to follow me every day, etc. And Harada loves you to write down sayings, famous sayings. I've published 250 books. I've written seven books. And all of my books that I wrote, every chapter has a saying. I love sayings. They're very powerful things to motivate you. I'm very lucky. I have a terrible memory, but certain things I just remember. I remember the Gospels as an example. I don't know why. But I can be a preacher. I'm, I remember all those wonderful sayings by Jesus. And I try to use those sayings to reinforce people's positive behavior. I had a great teacher. I studied yoga. His name was Rudy. And Rudy was filled with so many wonderful sayings that my last book that I wrote, which is called The Miraculous Life, about all the miracles in my life, every chapter starts off with a saying. And Harada recognizes how important that is to reinforce your behavior. The next thing we have, oh, this is, this is a routine check sheet. This is where I mentioned you write down your routines and you keep score every day. And the beautiful part of this is it'll add up your score. So if you have 10 routines and I did eight of them, it'll give you a score eight. And you'll know how well are you improving, are you doing what you want to do every, sing, every single day. The app has... The app has also, hold on just one second, uh, got to go here, I, I'm sorry, hold on, because I have to get the daily diary. You showed me where to go, where do I go to get the daily diary? Two, 